So in this example, we want to um, do a conditional probability. Whenever you see the words given that, it's a conditional probability. Um, this is where you're going to roll two dice, and you know when you roll two dice that the normal sample space is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, all the way to 6, 6. But in this problem, we actually have a given information. We're actually told that the first die is a 2. So we have that understanding and we have that knowledge. So since we know that, we don't need to actually use this giant sample space here. We can actually use what I call a restricted sample space, which restricts this big one and only uses the information that we need. Since we know the first die is a 2, we don't need the 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and so forth, we only need the outcomes that have a first die as a 2, which would be 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. Now, out of this sample space, you want to find the probability that you get a sum of 5. So out of this sample space, getting a sum of 5 would be this outcome here of a 2, 3. So the probability of a sum of 5 given the first die is a 2 would equal the one way you can get a sum of 5 in this sample space out of the six outcomes in this restricted sample space. So your probability is 1 out of 6.